day four that our bone broth has been cooking. We moved it inside yesterday and we just turned it off. So the next step is just to let this cool and then we'll get it jarred up. Okay, now that our bone broth is finally done, we are gonna go ahead and get it stored in these mason jars. And we're using mason jars because we are gonna put them outside to freeze. And we have found as long as you fill the liquid up just below the shoulders, then it's usually fine as far as the when the liquid expands and you don't have these glasses breaking. So we're gonna go ahead and ladle this in. Because this is for our dogs, we're leaving all those little chunky bits in there. But if, if it was for a human, you may want to strain that out. All right, so you can tell we kept it just below the shoulders there. So with this batch of bone broth, I and mean, we let it cook for a few days, and what last time when we cooked it, our, the bones started to kind of break down and disintegrate. This one was a tougher bone, and you can tell it's not really breaking down. So I am gonna toss these most likely. You could compost them too if, if you weren't worried about any critters getting into them. So you don't wanna feed bones like this to your dogs because they are sharp and they can splinter. They, I don't wanna say they're not useful, you could find a use for them, but because we've already basically gotten all that nutrition outside of the bones and I can't compost them, we are gonna dispose of them. We are not canning these, pressure canning them, so I just did a quick hot water and some soap to clean the jars out. So it's kind of a tedious process. Um, we generally feed our dogs cooked, I'm sorry, raw bones, um, but cooked bones, unless they're like soft enough to where they like just disintegrate like that, then you don't really want to feed it to them. So unfortunately a lot of these aren't that soft. A big old can of meat. <laughs> I think the dogs know what's going on. What's that? Bone broth? All right, this is what we ended up with. We have about 35 cans of this awesome looking bone broth. And we've made this uh, before out of pigs and we froze it and it seems to work really good. As long as you just keep it frozen, you're not freezing it, thawing it out, freezing it again. These jars won't crack or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna bring a couple over and show you how we're gonna store them and keep them frozen. All right, so this one's almost all the way frozen. So we're gonna bring them all over here and we're gonna bury them with snow. And then I want to show you guys, we moved the, all the meat that we got for the dogs into this bin. And as you can tell, we got it all packaged and it seems to be working pretty good. And we just cover it with snow and um, pull a few out at a time and thaw them out. Okay, so I'm just gonna bury them with some snow, just a thin layer. And these will probably last the dogs about four to six months, we're not really sure, but we do need to use them before it starts to get warm because we don't have a refrigerator or a freezer. So we have to go through these before the snow thaws out. One other thing I wanted to mention, if you guys are concerned, or if you're interested in trying freezing cans like this, is if they don't touch, that's better. You don't really want them touching. That's another way they possibly could crack. 
as they're freezing. So it's also important to note that if these were pressure canned, you don't want to freeze them. Um, when they freeze and then, you know, thaw out, they're, you know, that's expanding in there. So that can break the seal. That is what's keeping your food safe. Yeah, it should. Okay, so we got them all buried and we'll just pull one or two of these out at a time and they take about two days to thaw inside. Okay, so I figured we would show you guys since we keep saying we don't have a fridge or a freezer. I know we showed you that we were using the outside as a fridge for a while until we started getting into the really cool temperature. So what we do now is keep our refrigerator temperature foods in this ice chest that we have. And then we just swap these out and they're pretty much all the way frozen. And we find that's worked really well. Our main thing that we have to keep refrigerated is milk for kefir. And um, we bought some vegetables. Lots of times we'll open up our canned food and some of it's fine to sit out on the counter, but if you're gonna have it for a week or two, you really probably do wanna put it in a fridge temperature. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's a little ugly, but it works. Can you give us a fridge tour on what's in the fridge? Okay, I can give you a fridge tour. <laughs> That's sauerkraut. I have um, commercial yeast. You wanna keep that um, refrigerated. This is probably our only condiment, mustard. Gotta have the mustard. Sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, so I've got double sauerkrauts in there. Double garlic. We have our fermented garlic that we made a few weeks back. Which turned out really good, actually. It's really good, it's a little cloudy. This is one we've already opened. Yeah. I've got cat food, I've got some apple juice. And what's underneath that? Pickles. Pickles, pesto. Garlic scape pesto. This is apple butter. Mm -hmm. So that's a jar we're working on. And we just bought some veggies from the store, so I've got carrots, cabbage, and some pepperoni. Underneath it, I believe, is maybe like mushrooms. Ooh, I forgot we had mushrooms. That is an onion. We bought an onion. And some sausage and cheese. We got our milk and eggs. We bought eggs for the dogs. And then this is the caribou. And then I have some, these are just little dehydrated livers that we chicken, made. Chicken, chicken liver, and pork. Right? Chicken, chicken and pork, and probably. Pork, yeah. Before we left Oregon. And here's the bone broth that we're feeding the dogs right now. That's it, that's the poor man's fridge. Yeah, so it's just an alternate way to store your food. Um, I mean, we will probably get a fridge in the future or convert our freezer to a fridge, but Right now, this is just working for us. 